morning, boys and girls. Today we are going to do a lesson on changing shapes of things. So we're going to start off with something that's a rectangle. Pretty simple, a nice piece of paper here, right? We can see that it is a rectangle because it's longer on one side, shorter on these sides. Longer on the bottom, shorter on the top. We could change the rectangle up and down, side to side. Something else we can do is this doesn't have to stay like a rectangle, right? We can take our scissors and maybe we want to make it into a circle. Just because it has sharp edges now, doesn't mean it has to always have sharp edges. We can change the shape. So now, well maybe this is more of an oval, but now we have an oval, kind of, right? We can change it again if we want to. Maybe we want to make a heart. So we just cut, 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 and we are changing our shapes. Now we have a heart. So first, we had a rectangle, then we had a circle, and now we have a heart. We changed its shape, right? It doesn't have to stay one way. Here's another example. Everybody has some Play-Doh, right? So we can take out some Play-Doh and say, at first, we're gonna have a ball. We have a nice round ball, right? But it doesn't have to stay a ball. We can make it flat. We can make it a heart, just like we did before, right? So things can change shapes, especially things like these. Paper, clay, Play-Doh. We have different choices to make things change shapes, right? So what I want everybody to do is you have a piece of paper at your desk and some scissors. And we have some Play-Doh at our desk. So let's start with the paper. Everybody can start with their rectangle, right? and go ahead and cut it into any shape we want. We can do all different shapes. Everyone can do a circle like I did, or if you want to do a star, or maybe you want to make it a square, an oval, a smaller rectangle. There's lots of choices. So let's start there. When we finish that, we get out our Play-Doh and we go ahead and make whatever shape we want. You could even make an animal. You can make a cat or a duck or an art like I did, or a ball. So let's go ahead and practice changing the shapes and the forms of these objects that we have, okay?